Oh, that fucking brawl with, uh, what is his name, Josh Copeland or something? I don't know. I wasn't involved. Or, uh, the brawl at the press conference where uh, the guy stood up and you said, you can't be that stupid. <laughs> you can't be that stupid. Let's go. You're stupid Let's and you're Oh, you're talking about Mike Richmond. Mike Richmond, yeah. I don't know why I put down Copeland. Yeah, Mike Mike Richmond was just like, uh, uh, I don't know what he was on or what he was thinking, but he just got full of himself or he got tired of, you know, seeing me have the spotlight. And I think it'd be a real jealousy thing where he just got tired of seeing me and, and BKFC. Almost like me, like me and Mike Perry, right? You see how Mike Perry getting a lot of attention. He's getting a lot of draw. He's like a lot of people are associating bare knuckle with Mike Perry. Well, right. you no, know, if I was jealous of Mike Perry, I might set myself up to, you know, be be enemies with Mike Perry. And that's what that's what uh that's what he did. I just honestly think he didn't like the attention that I was getting and what I was doing. And he started to, you know, just chirp online saying, Hey, I could be him. He's nobody. I'm tired of you guys talking about Lorenzo Hunt, you know, I'll, I'll knock him out. And I ignored it the first couple of times because to me, it was like Batman versus Superman. It's like, right. you guys love Mike Perry. Okay, you guys love Batman. Do not fucking make him fight Superman, you idiot. <laughs> I guess, don't do it. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Everybody's like, <laughs> Batman's awesome. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? It's Superman. <laughs> like, it's yeah, <laughs> like, but they're like, okay. And then I, I said in the interview, I said, man, I can't believe that you were these, that you, these people, you got these people to go along with this. It's like, okay, let's make mm -hmm. man versus Superman. What? I'm not I'm going. I'm, I'm going to see it too. And you see what happened. <laughs> Holy yeah, Holy shit. You know Why, what makes you go so crazy like that? Like. I'm you were just you're just about it, bro. You you punch Hector in the ring. You, you were the oh, first one to hit him. So 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 honestly, it's not that I'm a man. You have to be careful what you say to a man, what you do to a man. I'm from mm -hmm. the generation where we didn't do the gay jokes thing, and we didn't you know we didn't touch each other, and we didn't slap each other on the ass. I don't know what's happening <laughs> right now. You understand? But for me, <laughs> yeah. I grew up when two men were in a room, there wasn't no sexual tension. There was the potential for somebody to get fucking hurt depending on what was said and why. <laughs> so you get four <laughs> or five guys in the room, you're talking all out brawl, maybe. You walk out of the room, you come back, like everything's tore down. That was the potential of any given moment when you deal with too many. It doesn't matter who's watching. doesn't matter if you're at church. doesn't matter if you're in school. Two men sit across from each other and start chirping. This always has the potential to be a brawl. That's how yeah. I grew up. You understand? You couldn't just say whatever you right. had to say. It is Mike Richmond stood up. Stood up. And he, he said, did. I will slap you in your fucking mouth. And you say, you can't be that stupid. <laughs> Do you talk like that to anybody? I don't. I don't talk you like that to people. Say that to you. I you would just do it. I would just do it. Instead of saying no, just, it, if I was going to, I would just do it. I'm just saying. Can you see yourself being at the grocery store? Some guy says, hey, I'll slap <laughs> you to your fucking mouth. What happens after that? You have to slap him immediately. I don't even know. I, I've never been past that point. Nobody's ever said that to me. So if you say I went crazy, I don't think so. I just don't know yeah. what I'm supposed to say after that. Well, I guess, I guess, uh, you know, devil's advocate is the promotion and stuff. So you don't want to uh, lock horns or or touch each other before the actual fight. But I you're like, fuck it. Your neck if you disrespect me in public. I don't. I don't. When we're yeah. sitting there, it's not about the promotion. I don't. If they if they wanted to protect the promotion, 
They should have not put us together. I've been training mm -hmm. for months to hurt this man. And if you put us close together, guess what I'm going to do? Yeah. So you're a fighter. I'm oh, whatever. You know, um, I, I, it wasn't. It wasn't on purpose. It wasn't planned or nothing like that. But I just want everybody to be conscious of true manhood. Don't say whatever comes to your mind. Me, speak to me with respect. Because another thing is like spitting on people. If somebody spit oh, on, yeah. I don't know. I just don't know what happens after that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. To 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 slap me or threaten to slap me or to do something to me in public, and like, you know, I, I don't know. I thought that was normal. <laughs> I, I thought that was pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Like I thought we all knew that you're not supposed to do right. such shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, when I don't I know why they act so out of pocket with you at times. Because they're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes guys are like. Sometimes you can lie to yourself. You'll tell yourself this guy's not that good, and then yeah, you'll start to believe it. Well, you probably should just be like, you know, he's pretty good. I should, I should keep pace. Or, wow, he made it this far. He must know something. That's all I am. I never said Mike right. Wilson wasn't good. I just said he couldn't beat me. You understand? That's a little bit different than he's a joke. He's nothing. He's a bitch. I'll slap him. You can't be that stupid. Right. You can't be that stupid. I'm the double world <laughs> champ in bare knuckle boxing. How soft could I be? How right. much of a bitch could I really be? <laughs> If I chose this job <laughs> and I'm doing stellar at it, the guy's fucking great. <laughs> how, 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 yeah, it, it's big. There's the knockout of the year award for that stupidity. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's the knockout of the year <laughs> award from uh, uh, Mike and Mitch and uh, BKFC. Bro, that was the dumbest. That was the dumbest. Um, he he literally had a brain fart and it cost him his career. He's gone. Yeah. No more Mike. No, Lee. that was odd to me. I was like, why the hell is he standing up already? Like Lorenzo didn't do too much there. I didn't do nothing. That's what when I was watching say. it. You didn't do didn't nothing, do yeah. And, and when he stood up, you yeah. can see my whole demeanor <laughs> changed. My whole demeanor did, changed. Yeah. When he stood up, I was like, wait. What? Me? No, you're not that stupid. No, please tell me you're not coming yeah. over here. You're not coming over here. I will throw you at your mom. Don't come over here. I will use you as a... I will chuck you across the street. But he, yeah. he did it. He came over. Whatever. Yeah. And then <laughs> what's fucking hilarious was that... <laughs> That part where you guys are going at it and Dave is in the middle trying to separate you guys and like you're just out of your mind at that point, the both of you. But so it, there's no I stopping just, you, but Dave's like fucking trying to hold you back. <laughs> one slap is hilarious, but I was just trying to <laughs> So the thing about it was he tried to shoot for a takedown. I think he tried to knock me off the stage the other way, but I stuffed the takedown. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little takedown defense real quick. <laughs> I know that much. You know, his arm under, <laughs> yeah. took him up off of me, you know. And then somebody attacked me from the other side. He was a, it was actually his brother. I see, yeah. Yeah, that was his, his little brother. Oh. He, he grabbed my legs. But they still didn't get me down. It looks like I fell, but I didn't. I landed on my feet. Everybody else fell. Because the stage on was off. Clip, it went off stage, right? It went off stage, but I didn't fall. It yeah. looks like I feel, but I right. everybody else though, but I still ready to fight. I had pretty good fun, you know. <laughs> and uh um yeah, it's just man, it's just yeah. it's been a while, right? And uh it's gonna continue to be one because like I'm going up to heavyweight and I'm gonna I'm gonna smack I'm gonna whoa. I'm gonna I'm gonna do damage in the heavyweight division. I've been dieting, I've been on a diet. You gotta remember, 
I, I, I had my first enemy fight at 31, right? I, I haven't been 185 mm -hmm. like as a natural weight since high school. I'm a big guy. Mm. I've been cutting weight and expressing this extreme discipline over myself for the past, since 2011. I've been my first fight at my 85 since 2011. So, wow. I'm saying, hey, you're ready wait, to grow into a, a heavyweight body then. I've always, I've always, I've always been a heavyweight. I'm yeah. a heavyweight whole life. I just have to cut. I just have to be 185 for 24 hours. Ah, uh, yeah. When I when I fight, I'm actually about two ten, two twelve, two fifteen. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fiber. I'm the 185 champion. I can be 185. Just great. Same thing where there's 205. I'm the two. I'm 225 to 30 pound guy just walking around. Actually, just a natural 230, mm -hmm. 230 pound guy. Since, since 2005, I've been over 205 pounds. You know what I mean? So Damn. you're talking about no favors, no shortcuts, no nothing. So when you guys see me at heavyweight, it's going to be like, we didn't know. Yeah, you know, I lie, you didn't know. <laughs> Couldn't have known. And I'm going to smash these yeah. guys. In the grapes, great juice. Like I'm going, I'm going. I'm, it's going to be bad. 